Hi friends, it's Dana here. I don't know about you, but I was imagining the other day what it would be like to take a vacation in space. And I was imagining myself getting all strapped into a big rocket and, you know, launching myself out of the atmosphere. And what would be, I guess, the most, the thing that I would look forward to the most. And all I could think about was, I couldn't imagine what it would look like to look at Earth, <laughs> to not be on Earth and to look at it, the place where we live all the time. Like I've never been off Earth before. I doubt that you have probably been off of Earth either. And it would just be surreal to see something that we've seen pictures of so many times and to think, wow, that that's where I live, That that's it. <laughs> Well, I probably won't ever do any space travel. I like having my feet firmly on the ground. But I do like to learn all about space, and I thought it would be fun to read this book to you all about space. That It's a cat in a hat book, which makes it even more fun. And we have a hard copy of this here at home, and I know it's been read many times to my kids. So it is a, a great classic. It's been around for a while, and I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. It's called There's No Place Like Space, all about our solar system. It is by Tish Rabe and illustrated by Estrides Ruiz. It is a revised edition. I am wondering if the previous editions had Pluto as a planet. Who knows? <laughs> Here you go. Let's find out. I'm the cat in the hat, and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There's no place like space. I'll prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Jump in. Here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars, and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see the planets in our solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It's hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home of thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth, as long as you haven't done any space travel, that is. It is the third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the Earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the Earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it right now every day. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all the other planets combined. Look at them, just pour them into the Jupiter. <laughs> Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, planet eight, is a beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say, Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickles just saved up 999 nickels. <laughs> I don't know if that's easy for you. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. No Pluto. <laughs> the first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planet's names. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. 
a dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small, like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball, and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it, the star called the sun. <laughs> From the Earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes will get hurt, and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute. A million of our Earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon, but first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever seen or ever been to before. They've certainly seen it. <laughs> they walked on the moon and then drove all over in a special moon car called a lunar rover. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing two wants to be one, in fact, so do I. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take thing one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something new. <laughs> All right, friends, like always, there's a glossary in here and let's go back. I love that moon with the cat and the hat on it. It's so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this fun rhyming book all about the solar system and our, you know, the world outside of our world. <laughs> Thanks so much for reading with me. Excuse me. Thank you so much for reading with me, friends. Bye-bye.